MovieWeb.com. Finally, just an hour, but you know. All right. Hey, you, Levin. Yeah, what do we? Uh, what do we make at ten thirty? Allison, oh, promise I never have to see him again. Guys, come on, I want to get a picture of Snoopy with her goddamn. Hey. She. Yes, this is she. Did Allison and Peter speak with you about who would take care of Sophie in the unlikely event that they should both die? No. Well, they named you. I'm sorry. Well, I, I thought your film was very, very funny, and the thing that jumps off from the opening scene is just the tremendous amount of chemistry between your, your lead characters. Talk about casting uh, Josh and Catherine. Well, Katie was already attached to the movie when I came on, and uh, I, I thought, okay, she can do it all. She can do drama and comedy, and now we have to find a guy who can do drama and comedy, but also a guy who you know, can be a little bit of a lout at the beginning of the movie, but you still um, love him. And you have to believe at the beginning of the film that, that uh, people would give their baby to him. And Josh, when he came in right away, had all of those qualities. You know, he could do the comedy and the drama, but he also had a warmth, an inherent warmth. And I think that's the thing that really registers between the two of them in terms of their chemistry, is that they can fight or bicker or do all the things that people do in these traditional ro romantic comedies, but then the thing that's extra special is sort of you kind of really believe their charm that kind of exists beneath all that. There's quite a few scenes where they're actually working with the baby. Absolutely. And they're, they're, they're full-on parents the entire yes. film. So, I mean, as a director, what's it like directing an infant, especially in so many scenes in this film? It's really crazy, you know? I mean, I think you have to kind of prepare for anything and just protect and shoot the scene so that you can let the baby leave the scene if you replace the baby or get a different baby and find different ways to entice a performance out of the baby. Uh, you know, uh, whether it's food or whether it's a toy or whether it's a song or anything you can do to kind of get a reaction that you think you'll need in terms of the shape of what the scene is and still also protect the scene for the adult actors uh, so that they can have the connection that they're having. So you're, you're really trying to kind of create an atmosphere where everybody can do their best. I think it's, you know, from the trailers you can see that, you know, they, they inherit the baby from their right. friends who die. Right. So there's a, a sense of tragedy in there as well. Yeah. Talk about how the original script was to where the film was. How much tragedy do you want to put in there, you know, leverage the comedy and so on? Yeah, I think when I read the original script, we, we definitely, from there, we added more uh, drama and more humor. I think we wanted more of both, you know. We, it, was, it was rare that you get an opportunity to make a movie like this because studios so many times these days want them to be just one thing or the other and this one actually was both so um, and, and Katie you know had the ability to sort of make a movie go just by saying I want to do it because of her track record and she wanted to make a movie like this so it was a great opportunity uh, and I didn't want to squander it you know so we, we, we um, upped the ante on the comedy and we upped the ante hopefully on the drama as well and uh, blended them both together It's like Slumdog Millionaire now. Get her out of her toes. Okay, I gotta go. No, it's burning my eyes. Hi. Hey, Miss Price. Oh, what? Sweetie, you have poo on your face. <laughs> no.